Welcome back, guys, to the next recording of the Fort Myers. I mean, the score study of coral reef erosion on the Great Barrier Reef. Right. This was uh, my project. It was about the Great Barrier Reef's reef erosion, and as you can see on the Tree of Wisdom, this tank is about 200 by 100 by 70 blocks, and it took us a total of 35 hours to make, and you should be quite impressed with it. And Mr. Cisco, what exactly do you have here? Well, you see, sire, over here, stuff. We have a coral polyp zoomed in by a couple thousand. You see, kind of how the marine ace exam graders look at our graph questions with a magnifying glass, huh? Uh -huh. So on inside of here, we have zooxanthellae flowing around. You know, doing their thing, productivity, photosynthesis, chemosynthesis. Mm-hmm. Exactly. All right. Over here, as you can see, is a uh, new Pokemon that Who's Man was uh, actually working on. Didn't get to finish, and uh, it was called. Uh, what exactly is it called, Cisco? This Pokemon's name is Vaporeon. It is an evolution which can be evolved at any level, at any given point in time, using a Water Stone. I see. Okay, and as you can see here, we built a full-scale replica of Captain Quint's boat actually and if you guys were wondering he actually died right about there and this is our project let's go check it out yeah oh my god what do we have here Cisco in this beautiful tank so what we have here is one third of the Great Barrier Reef, which is now completely dead. Oh my god, elaborate on that. Basically, the remains of the Great Barrier Reef, this portion of it at least, is just a bunch of detritus. What is the detritus represented by? Well, if you see, we have sand and andesite blocks. Which one's the sand? Sand is the white looking one. Racist! Right here. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. Have a great day. <laughs> well, on a more serious note, uh, the main causes for this being is basically uh, the baseline of the temperature of the ocean has been increased by 1.5 degrees Fahrenheit globally. Yeah, that's Fahrenheit, mister. Deal with it. And, well, the main culprit is global warming, of course, that oh, everybody always jumps to that reason but unfortunately mass bleaching events have happened back to back in the past 20 years bleaching events happen or bleaching events occurred in 1998 2002 and 2016 to make matters even worse tropical cyclone Debbie at the end of March struck a section of the reef that had largely escaped the worst of bleaching leaving the reef no time to recover Fun fact, another name for tropical cyclones is a typhoon or a hurricane. Hurricanes travel in a counterclockwise, or they rotate in a counterclockwise direction. Anyways, Cisco, you had something to say? Uh, yeah, so basically, an increase in pollution means an increase in CO2 in the atmosphere. This means that there is more CO2 in the ocean, and we all know what that means. Calcium carbonate? No, no liberal. This creates H2CO3 in the ocean, or carbonic, carbonic acid, which leads to ocean acidification. This leads to the calcium carbonate skeleton of corals to be dissolved. So moving on to the zombified version of the reef, which is basically another third, well half of it is dead and half of it is alive. It is currently suffering. Do you know why this is, Angel? Uh, yeah, this has to relate with uh, Tropical Cyclone Debbie. Uh, more on her was that she was a 260 kilometer per hour winds, or it was her 260 kilometer per hour winds that tore through the reef. It was a patchy destructive force. I'm saying this because it greatly affected some areas while other areas seemed virtually untouched. And, well, areas that were destroyed will now leave shores unprotected. What does that have to do with shores, though? Shut up, you ignorant conservative. 
Well, you oh. see, Reeves, <laughs> Reeves, that's not that's not in the script. That's not in the script. Uh, Reeves tend to protect shores from oncoming wave action, and it dissipates waves by ninety-seven percent. This protects the shore from erosion. So not only will reef erosion affect the reef, but it will also affect the shore. And my God, what is that shark doing? All right, this is one third of the reef, which is the prettiest part, which has avoided most of these causes that we have just mentioned. Despite these causes, scientists are trying to combat this crisis to save the reef. Many proposals to save the reef have been rejected, but researchers with the Sydney Institute of Marine Science plan to manufacture cloud cover over the reef. This is thought to be a last ditch effort of cooling the rising seawater surrounding the dying reef. The government of Australia has permanently banned the disposal of port related capital dredge material in the entire Great Barrier Reef. They have acknowledged the consequences of pollution. Such pollution leads to outbreaks of one of coral's main predators, the crown of thorn starfish. Funding, I mean, because of this, Funding has basically been doubled to control crown of thorn starfish in order to further further protect the reef's corals. Basically, what is being done is that divers are being sent into the reefs, into the ocean, to remove crown of thorn starfish from the environment. And in turn, reef regeneration has been seen. Mahuma. I didn't have too much. We only need one. Come on, let me see that Oh wait, I wasn't recording. Oh crap, that's a blooper. Oh no. <laughs>